guys welcome back to my channel it's me again oh my gosh you guys okay so a lot of you supported my videos last week thank you so much for that so obviously i haven't filmed for a few days and i'm back it's wednesday i really hope you enjoyed today's video you want to see you guys like my feelings about Hermes are kind of changing a little bit so most of you who watch my channel, you know that I do like Amez. Um, I'm I, I, I'm also here to cover their shenanigans and their drama, but I do like their products. So I was just on Jane's Jane Fine's website, and I was also on Anne Fabulous Fine's, and I think those are like the two like premier American um, Amez and luxury resale sites in terms of I think they also do consignment, but in terms of like credibility and authenticity. So I was on Jane Fine's website. I was just looking at the Kelly Pochette. So I want to talk about the Kelly Pochette and the Mini Kelly today in a lot of detail because my feelings of buying in store have changed in one arena, which is the Kelly Pochette. So basically I was on Jane Fine's site and there were so many <laughs> Mini Kellys and Kelly Pochettes. There's so many of them, but then I saw this one, okay, and I almost fell off literally my chair because I was sitting down when I saw this, okay, I was on my phone like looking, but oh my goodness, like this is a bubblegum pink mini Kelly in alligator, okay, it is 179,000 US dollars, like Jane, baby, what is going on with you sweetheart, like where did you get this energy? to sell this thing for 179k and before any of you are like it's an exotic piece ah no okay exotics in store are not that expensive on one of my other Hermes videos I left a comment someone had asked me how much was a lizard um Kelly or I think a lizard mini Kelly and I responded with like a bunch of prices for exotics exotics in store in France at the Parisian boutiques are not this expensive we're not even talking about the himalayan here which i've also done a video about this is a mini kelly okay so i was looking at this and i was just absolutely shocked like I, I, honestly i was shocked and i mean even i think that this is overheated even for the mini kelly i think for the mini kelly this is excessive and this is a lot of money even for a croc piece an alligator piece and this is alligator there's a woman in this mes group i'm part of on facebook she has a lot of these like bubblegum pink options. I think they're so darling and so cute, but I don't think that, I, I can't believe that they're selling this thing for $179,000. I believe this one, according to Jane Fines, she lists it, she lists it as store fresh, which I'm guessing they mean it's like brand new from the boutique. I think this one is store fresh, but don't quote me because now I might have to go look at the listing. When I saw this a few days ago, I thought I was like hallucinating. Okay, so I was like, oh, before my subscribers are like, again, stop capping, okay? You did not see that price. I made sure to screenshot it the day I saw it, which was Sunday. And today's Wednesday, so I will check when I'm uploading this video if the listing is still live. Um, I'm sure that this item will go within a month. I do think 179000 is just a horrific sum of money. But I also think that one thing i've noticed like with a lot of us in the luxury community there are many luxury communities it's not just um us as anglophones like english-speaking people who are into luxury there's so many different cultures and communities out there who love these brands there will be someone who is going to buy this okay there will be someone who's going to buy this so then i i, I just my mind was blown and um in my previous video like some of you were like well why are you acting so surprised that someone would spend two million euros the Cartier video i'm like well i'm allowed to be surprised okay i'm absolutely shocked that someone would spend 179,000 on this being the mini kelly it's one thing if it's a himalayan but i think this is just like way too much for this particular product but hey the fact that she has priced it at this item means she's pretty confident that there are clients out there who will spend the money i think when it comes to um resell what i'm noticing is that uh, the sort of heat and the the heat around the mini kelly's the kelly pochettes of course the kelly 25s those kind of smaller sizes that's really what people want to buy um i have noticed like a lot of people who have said that they got store offers without history are being offered like larger sizes and i'm, I'm not shading you if you've got a store offer without history and you've got a larger size but i'm not really surprised because i do think those like smaller um sizes are the ones that people are really interested in at the moment of course, bigger sizes eventually will come back in fashion. And, you know, I like big bags as well. But I think when it comes to Hermes, like, 
they're able to charge like a huge fee for that um, alligator um, mini Kelly because people love those cute um, you know small sizes right now they're just so hot they've been hot for a few years but I just don't see I don't see it dissipating anytime soon so I'm I really like the Kelly pochette my feelings are changing when it comes to Hermes at resale only for this item. Um, I still feel the same about Hermes, which is I'd rather just buy it in store, which means waiting to go to Paris when things are safe and when my husband wants to go. <laughs> but um, for me, like the Kelly Pochette, I feel like I would be willing to try and get one at resale, basically. I would be comfortable with that. I really like these two websites. I don't know them. I just literally discovered them last week. But I really, really like them because they do have like those box fresh or they call them store fresh options the ones that are straight out of the, the box i just need something that is like brand new i wouldn't mind buying from a reseller um i think a brand new kelly pochette i saw someone say this on on facebook a brand new kelly pochette in swift is like six thousand dollars something like that in the in the us um i don't mind the premium for the Kelly Pochette only because I know it's a really, really hard bag to score. One of my subscribers, Elisa, you told me that Jean-Paul Gaultier designed the Kelly Pochette. I believe it was like 2004, that's when he designed it. Really, when you look at the Kelly Pochette, it's such a Jean-Paul Gaultier type of thing. It is irreverent. It has, it has that like classic structure of the Kelly, but it's so different. I think he also designed the shoulder back in. He's such a... He's such a unique designer, he has such a unique point of view, and I actually really liked his time at Hermes. And I, I, I have to say, salute to the Dumas family for kind of going, like, going kind of off the beaten path and choosing him at that time. And I really liked what he did when he was there. I, I think that Hermes actually benefits from someone who is just so different, so unique, and so vibrant. So that was his creation. I love this because it fits your phone. Now, I have my phone here that I use for pictures. Hold on. This is the this is the famous red phone that you guys you see. If it's like a long video with tons of info, I use this for pictures and I use this to write notes. This is just like a Huawei phone. I don't use it to make calls. The, the phone I'm using now to film this video is the one I use for my calls. Someone was posting their Kelly Pochette in this one group I'm in and I was like, can it fit your phone? And she was like, it fits my phone. And I was like, my phone is, is a Huawei phone. She's like, it's going to fit your phone. So I think that that to me, it's just, it's at the end of the day, that is what pushes the Kelly Pochette to me ahead of the Mini Kelly. I think the Mini Kelly is beautiful and amazing. I think the colours of the Mini Kelly are absolutely gorgeous. It's like something out of like a roll doll book it's super colorful all the colors are so beautiful they're like confectionery absolutely gorgeous colors i love the mini kelly in the exotic leathers as well and by now i should have shown a few mini kelly's for you guys to see that i found from james fines but i i just can't get over the fact that you can't put your phone in there that doesn't mean I wouldn't buy a Mini Kelly. If we go to Paris and I ask for it and it's offered, I would take it in a minute. That doesn't mean I wouldn't get it, but I would struggle with like carrying a, a Mini Kelly here and then holding my phone in the other hand. And also like the lifestyle here is like so driven around cars and driving. I would be frightened to go out with the Mini Kelly and holding my phone in my hand. Not that you can, like, someone can run up to you and rob you or anything like that. No, not like that. I would just be worried that I'd go to a bar or a lounge with Edwin and then I'll put my the bag down, assuming it's a Mini Kelly, I'll put the phone down and then I would leave taking the Mini Kelly and forgetting my phone. I think that, that for me, the fact that you can't put your phone in there, it's just a deal breaker at this moment in time. So right now, I'm open to the Kelly Pochette, but brand new. So I've been looking at it on James Fab Finds. Oh, James Fab Finds. And Fab Finds and James Finds. I'm looking at those two. The prices are, I think, a bit better on Anne's website. But um, I do think that the colors are amazing on Jane's website. So obviously, these are two different people's companies, whatever. I feel like my feelings have changed for one reason. Only when it pertains to the Kelly Pochette. The Kelly Pochette is very difficult to score um, and apparently the Kelly Pochette is a quota bag in the US. In certain markets in the US it is a quota bag but in Europe it isn't. I love the sort of um, 
I love like how things are different in different markets. I don't know about Asia. If you're in Asia, can you confirm if the Kelly Pochette is a quota bag? Yes or no. And also tell us what country you're in, because I do think in different countries it's treated differently. But many people on Facebook have said the Kelly Pochette in America is seen as a quota bag which means as we all know you're allowed two quota bags a year Burke and Kelly constant so if you take a Kelly Pochette which is by the way rare very hard to, to get hard to score that means you'll be left with one bag left to, between the Burke and Kelly and Constance whereas in Europe it's not seen as a quota bag so theoretically you could get your two quota bags um, from the store for the year and you should be able to get a Kelly Pochette assuming that the stock is there there are lots of different comments about the stock of this bag. Um, from what I've seen on Facebook, many people in Europe just say it's easier to get the Kelly Pochette in Europe, whereas people in the US say the bag is very difficult to get. I mean, I, I guess the fact that it's like counted as a quota bag kind of makes sense with that. So I, yeah, my feelings <laughs> have changed. We have so many things going on here in Tanzania, like these next five months are going to be so busy. There's so many events, so many parties, so many things going on. Christmas, birthdays. I was looking and I thought the price on Anne's Fab Finds, there was one that I saw. I don't remember the link. I don't. I think that one has been sold. So I think it's been taken down off this site. Um, and it was like $9,000. It was Swift and the color was Rouge de Coeur, which is like this beautiful heart red. I think that's okay. It's okay, you know, because obviously in store it would be about, I think, as I said, in store, the Swift leather one is about 6,000 or I think it's like 6,000 now, but like last year it was like 5,800, something like that. I think that is okay. I don't mind that premium for that bag only because the bag is so hard to get. But when it comes to the Birkin and the Kelly, I'm still just going to wait to go to Paris for that because there are just so many other great brands out there right now that I'm looking at. As I mentioned, I think I've already mentioned that. You know, I'm looking at Alaya right now, Moschino. There's so many great things to buy that, you know, don't require me to <laughs> jump through hoops or look at buying things at resale. So immense stuff is great, but it's not like a massive priority in my totem pole. I also have lots of things at Louis Vuitton that I'd like to add as well, even though I just got the refill notebook last month. So I just wanted to let you guys know where I stand right now. All of this is just pertaining to my husband. If my husband is comfortable traveling to Paris, we'll go um, as soon as possible. If my husband isn't comfortable traveling at the moment, then I have to wait for him to feel comfortable to go to Paris. But once I'm in Paris, it's all systems go. I think for me, the store experience is better just because I just prefer things brand new. But I think I am definitely more open-minded now about considering really hard to score um, as pieces at resale. I don't feel like I'd be interested in Chanel at resale. I'm not interested in um, other brands secondhand just because those items aren't that difficult to get. By the way, speaking of Chanel, who wants to see a 21k video? <laughs> who wants to see the leaked photos of 22p, 22c? And I put a community post and I was so shocked by you guys' reactions. You guys love Chanel's leaks. Chanel is like the biggest leaker in the world of fashion secrets. They just leak all of their stuff. So let me know if you guys would like to see a 21k video coming soon. So on the weekend, um, Ed and I went to this art studio. I'll put up a picture here because I bought some new art for my office. So this is this has gone up in my office. And I just wanted to share like a story about the way the culture's like here. So we, I, because I said, oh, I want to go and get some art from my office. So everyone was like, I'll come with you because they'll probably try and rip you off because you're a girl. I'm like, okay. So we go, <laughs> then, and then we get in there, and I'm like looking at things. And he, before we, before actually before we enter, he's like, why don't you go and ask how much something is, and then I'll ask, and we'll see the difference in pricing. There's this beautiful painting of this giraffe and stuff. So I was like, how much is this? And they told me it was like 100,000 Tanzanian shillings. I'll put the conversion on the screen. And then um, I walk around, I'm looking at other things. My husband was like, well, how much is the same painting? They're like, uh, for you, we'll give it to you for 60,000. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, I'm so glad I have him to do a lot of this stuff here. You just get ripped off here if you're a girl. And um, he was like negotiating for my paintings and stuff. There were so many beautiful things. I think I posted these on Instagram. If you follow me, you've already seen them. If you haven't followed, followed me yet, please make sure you say hello on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. I'm the same name on all of them, except on 
ticked off I'm higher glams on Lux. I can't even say my name now, that's how old I'm getting. So yeah, I was like, I was just like, oh my gosh, like sometimes being a woman here, <laughs> it's so funny because literally like when he asked it was like forty thousand less but when i asked it was a hundred thousand shillings okay and uh, uh we both speak um swahili the same we're both fluent speakers so it's not oh they're trying to rip you off because of whatever you just get ripped off here if you are a girl you will be ripped off but it's all in good fun i don't take it personally i just thought it was kind of funny so it was really nice actually going there they do everything by hand so these two canvas pieces i got they're all um like painted by hand they have like wood carvings in there they've got masks they've got these beautiful they had this like i didn't take a picture but it was kind of like a totem pole and it was massive and it had like women and men on it and it had spears and shields and to be honest here like you hear the paintings of people they'll always be closed but like the sculptures and the carvings people will be naked so just putting that out there for those of you who are going to be clutching your pearls when you buy statues here they are like naked <laughs> whether it's like a man or a woman they'll carve them out naked and stuff which is kind of funny but anyway so i just wanted to yeah let you guys know what i did thank you so much for watching make sure you stick around for friday that's my next video saturday and then next week i'll revert to my traditional um, well, actually, no, I won't revert to my traditional schedule because next week, next Wednesday, we have to do the Louis Vuitton birthday video, which is next Wednesday. So I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it the same week, the same stuff this week, basically Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Please make sure you hit notifications, subscribe to my channel, like this video. It really helps to support the channel. The algorithm has changed so much for a lot of channels. So make sure you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.